hello hello everyone it's me jessica and welcome back to my channel today we are going to dive into some more snowy escape and i'm really ready to honestly do some snowboarding in this part uh that's kind of my my top priority aside from the he's broke um i spent all his money again i'm really good at that um i'll show you guys what i did i just bumped out his kitchen uh, on the front of the house by one tile like I kind of talked about in the last part I went ahead and did that um, I did have to sell the bush in the front yard to afford it um, that it yeah I'm just I'm really good at spending money in the sims and not making enough as quickly as I'd like to spend it so um, <laughs> welcome welcome to my rags to riches challenge essentially <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, um, I think aside from that, we're going to bring Corey along in this part to do some snowboarding. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great week. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that the holidays are, are behind us and uh, whatnot. I'm just, uh, I'm ready to kind of get back to a bit more of normalcy, whatever normalcy is right now. Um, <laughs> just, uh, yeah. The, the holidays were still chaotic, even though they weren't, I don't know, 2020 stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, okay, I don't know. I hope you guys are taking care and excited to do some sim stuff. I'm really excited to uh, do some snowboarding, like I said, because um, the last few parts have been a bit of character development and just kind of focusing on uh, Cohen's relationships, kind of, was important to me so I don't know I hope you guys have been enjoying it I hope you guys are ready to get some snowboarding in today I'm uh, really hoping to level up his skill uh, quite a bit in this part so that we can kind of get to like making some money um, yeah so I will kind of ramble some more about some other stuff when we get into the video and and whatnot so I'll meet you guys there all right guys um, you will notice that I did change something here Cohen has a beard. Um, it's not a very long beard. I did, I think, the base game one, so it's a bit shorter. Um, but his dad is actually here. And, um, yeah, that kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> he looks just like his father, honestly. It's kind of, kind of scary. Um, I did have him queued up to go ahead and start his side job for programming to kind of get this part of the day started. I think... Um, we're honestly going to probably wait until morning to go snowboarding. So we'll kind of get this evening out of the way. Um, we have the fog machines and the lasers. We, what we don't have is the program to make eight bright green laser dragons fly out of the densest fog anyone has ever seen. I think that you're just the person to help us. Okay, well, my dude, just get that programming going. That's all I can really ask of you right now. His dad. Oh, okay. Well, his dad left. Um, what I did want to say, though, is I did check on the value of our lot right now, and it's about 24,000 simoleons. Um, he had like 200 simoleons, which I put into the house um, by pushing that area out. But that is how the little kitchen area looks now and I think it looks a lot better honestly it's more defined and just makes a little bit more sense um I moved like the sign I think around over there um and like I was talking about in the last part I did make this wall like the same wallpaper on both sides um and I guess while I have you guys in free camera I'm just oh, 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 shoot you around here um I'll put the roof on the house I no, I say roof like roof, roof. I'm sorry, um, but there's a, a little window on the front of the house. I just I think it looks cute. Um, it is a, a very small house, and I don't really plan on doing too too much to it more like structurally as far as like the layout goes. I think that this layout is pretty firm. Um, I might add in like a stereo over here or something like that. Um, but I think for the most part, this is the layout we're going to gonna go with and just try to build up what he has. Because I think, obviously, if we have, like, a an exponential amount of furniture and stuff kind of built up, then it'll help our situation uh, moving 
and I think that moving with everything we need is pretty important. I, I don't know, I would say, <laughs> I would like to say. Um, I just, I'm so nervous about trying to get him up there because I thought about honestly like selling everything and putting him in a tent for a little while. But I thought that that would kind of defeat the purpose of giving him a house to kind of begin with. So I think instead of doing that, especially because he has Corey in mind to think about and um, just to almost like if he wants to ever make her feel like he can provide for her, then I think it would be important for him to actually be able to have like a little tiny home up on the mountain. So that's what we're going to do is I think I'm going to try and do like a tiny, tiny home, um, like the tier two. Um, and actually keep it that way as long as possible. Um, I'm really bad about staying in a tiny home. Um, I think even in my Rags to Riches challenge, um, my OG one with the Slater family, I did not keep the like actual tiny home the whole time. And I kind of, I thought about doing that. Oh, we just made $800. Thank you so much for a job well done. Dude, you are so welcome. Thank you for paying me 800 bucks for that. Hell yeah. Okay, well, um, that is definitely gonna be something that we have him do quite often because he is level eight of his programming skill. It seems like he makes pretty good money whenever he does that. Okay, he learns some stuff about the tomato bush. I'm not really interested in what he learned per se. I more so just wanted him to get that gardening skill up a little bit because I think his garden is pretty small right now. Um, I do want for him to maybe purchase some seeds, purchase some fruits, <clears throat> some garden flowers and some fruits maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then for sure in the morning, we're going to get him out. We're going to do some snowboarding. I'm really excited about that. Honestly, so excited about that. All right. We're going to let him go ahead and get some sleep. Right, y'all. It is 8 a.m. Okay. He's awake and everything. Have him take a shower. Um, I did put some stuff out here for him to actually plant some strawberries and some blackberries here. Um, the tomatoes are good to go. I'm hoping the lilies come along sooner than later. We need to water everything, take care of our garden a little bit, and then whenever he's actually taking care of his needs and his garden, we're going to get out, we're going to do some snowboarding, and I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping that it's a good day for snowboarding. We can only hope, I suppose. Um, what else? We had a rose, bluebells, grapes. I suppose we can put some grapes there. Um, soybeans. I don't know about having a whole bunch of soybeans. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter too much. We could just plant them. I don't really care to plant the uh, the daisy, but we'll plant the roses. Maybe like one right there. Um, I'm gonna just sell this other stuff. I'm just not worried about having the rest of it. And let's breed a frog. I wish we got. A more expensive one but it's still 30 extra dollars um oh my gosh he's still showering dude we're done with the shower we are honestly done with the shower um i think between planting and watering i'm gonna go ahead and let him use the restroom and then we'll have him water everything and then we'll have him harvest or not harvest um sell everything after he is done selling everything we will uh, probably hit the road, get some snowboarding in. I want to invite Corey to snowboard with us. Um, or should we, oh goodness, or should we do hiking? Should we try to do some, does he have, let me check his inventory really quick. Oh, 
Okay, he does have climbing gear. Oh, his mom just walked up to the house and then like left again. Okay, well then we'll have him sell everything. I'm very excited to just kind of get going with this, this Let's Play. I'm excited for him to have a kid. Freaking Gen 3 of this family. Let's go, you know? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> And I think Corey is so cute. I don't, I know that she like, when you load up the save file, she has a, a boyfriend. Um, I don't know. To each their own and their save file, you know, this is, this is mine. And I think that it would be kind of funny to just wisp her away. Cause I like her blue hair and I like that she's adventurous. Okay. 770 bucks. Do we have bills? How much are bills? Do we need to worry about it? Show bill information, please. Okay. Well, we would technically have enough to pay our bills right now. Um, but I think that it's time. I'm going to go ahead and save the game real quick, and I'll meet you guys there. We're going to get some snowboarding in. Okay. We're here. Um... What I was kind of thinking is I want for them to come over here. Can we go sledding one time with Corey? Let's see how this goes. Um, but what I'm kind of thinking is even if like, I don't Seven, stick to my word of like her not moving in before we move, um, I still don't want them to have a kid for many, many parts. I know I was just saying I'm excited for him to have a kid, but, um, and they keep looking at each other. This eye contact though, like seriously, they're just staring at each other. Yeah, she's like, well, I'm sorry, what's his name? I, I know, I know his name. Actually, my Gen 3 heir met her boyfriend at school so I kind of have like made this joke to my husband that like my gen 3 heir of the Mills family the legacy challenge uh could take the boyfriend away it's not the same save file but um you know <laughs> um I'm so excited to see them go sledding together and also how freaking cute are they I I've just been what <laughs> what do you mean is it because they're both adults Go sledding on Bunny Slope one time with Corey. She's right there. What's the issue? Chicks from Bluff? Oh, Kalimpo. Uh, Please, Zimbabwe. she's adventurous. They'll do it, right? I'm so confused. What's happening? Go sledding, go sledding, go sledding. What are they doing? Oh my gosh, are they going to do it? Oh my gosh, it's not going to work. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. Um, I guess we'll just... I was going to have them do some snowboarding, but we'll just do some continuous snowboarding together on the bunny slopes. I don't know if she already has a, a, a like snowboarding or a skiing skill. Um, I don't know if she has a preference, but we're just going to ask her if she wants to snowboard with us, I guess. wait he oh he's gonna hit the jump oh she's saying that she can't and he didn't hit the jump well this is very disappointing cohen looks like a whole different dude with the beard like who is he even <laughs> um alberto is that you <laughs> oh my gosh um, so is this not working for like her? Well, this is frustrating. This is very frustrating. Um, okay, well, can we just take a stinking picture with her or something? This is making me mad. And then we'll just do a little bit of snowboarding for ourselves, I guess. I don't know. Take a photo with yeah, girl. It looks like Sahiko is here somewhere and I mean, I'm happy for her, but please don't be creeping on us. Okay, they need to get a picture together, so I'm very happy that this is uh, this is a thing right now. 
oh no 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 we don't need that flash that was way too much exposure on her her hair like turned white honestly um that's fine i do wish that we had the better camera but this is this is fine it will do just fine okay well honestly corey i'm really sorry that um we can't spend more time with you right now but honestly, I just want for our dude to get a little bit of uh, go skiing, go snowboarding, go snowboarding on easy slope one time. Oh wait, high, low, me me medium, medium intensity, do that. It's kind of disappointing that it doesn't seem to be working. And I'm also interested to see if the ski lift is working properly in this save file, um, cause I uploaded about it to my Instagram, but in one of my personal save files, the ski lift was like, maybe it would work on the first time, but then anytime they would go down the slope and come back up, it would not work. So um, that, that was interesting. All right, Duder, it's your time to shine. Are you gonna hit the jumps? Ooh. He is so nervous. Come on, man. You gotta like embrace it more. He's like not leaning into it at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. He's like, oh, I'm struggling guys. Oh, he landed it though, level four. What's up, bro? Okay, I don't know how long I wasn't recording my gameplay for. Um, I. I have some work to do on my capture card and I'm not really sure if it's my computer or it, I know it's not the capture card I'm pretty sure it's my computer um, but it, we're having some trouble actually getting it to work um, but I'm guessing while I was taking all these like shots of him being a badass I uh, I probably just didn't start recording again or notice that it gave me the notification yeah anyways i'm sorry guys <laughs> more of him doing some really cool snowboarding stuff though he is getting a lot better i'm very proud of him um but i uh, i was making fun of myself because over here these slopes and this is what i don't know if what was recording or not is this how you actually spell ludicrous is this like the actual word ludicrous like ludicrous the rapper but obviously he would just spell his name differently because he's a rapper. Uh, I don't I don't know if that is at all accurate if I am just full of BS right now, but who are you? Oh, well, you're her grandma. Come and um, give a respectful introduction to her. I guess whenever, no, do it now. He's off in the, like in the forest again. <clears throat> okay, well, he's, um, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. He just got to meet, um, Corey's grandma, though. <gasps> Guys, I have to. I can't. I can't. <gasps> ah! It's like a real sunset. So pretty. Okay. Okay, well, he said hello to Corey's grandma. I'm very happy that he was able to actually kind of introduce himself to her. Um, I wonder, could we get in one more snowboarding session one time? Uh, just do one more medium intensity, though, because honestly, like, I just want you to get better at this. And then we'll let him get back home. Okay, stop talking to the grandma. Ooh, it is actually freezing cold now, um, but I'm still having him go up to the top. I want him to do one more run. It's 8 p.m. I don't know if this is a really bad idea or not, but we're doing it. We are. We're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes really quick. All right, my dude, just be careful. Be careful, you don't have to hit all the jumps the most. Ooh, got it. Looking good, feeling good, feeling confident. 
Okay. Well, I'm very proud of him. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is save again, and then I'll just meet you guys back at the house. Okay, he is back home, and I really think that we're probably about done with this part. Uh, what I really wanted for him was kind of just that. <laughs> Oh, he's doing it again. Did you? How do I make him stop doing that? He literally scoffed whenever he walked up to the door and then said, I'm not going to follow the household shoe rules. And then just didn't take them off. Like how rude of you. It's your own house. Go in. Cohen, there's a, a shoe rack right there. Remove shoes indoors. Wear slippers indoors. Maybe that'll make him happier. Do you not like being barefoot? Do you not like that life? Do you do you prefer to have slippers on? I'm kind of a, a socks and slippers person. I have some streamlined slippers that I got for Christmas. Um, they're very lightweight, and that makes wearing very heavy socks quite quite comfortable actually because I can like double up um, or I can wear normal socks and kind of feel normal so maybe he'll like the slipper life a little bit better I think that that might be a bit more appropriate for him I, I don't know I don't know I don't know why he was being so so rude about it it's your own house Cohen it's your own house um okay <laughs> go ahead and start one more of these side jobs um My phone icons, they seem very drab and dull. Could you write up an application that would make all of the icons wear tuxedos? Uh, now that would be fancy. We did this one last time, but yes, we will do it again. <laughs> we will. Oh my gosh, he just tooted at the desk and giggled about it. Okay, well, everything is like coming along pretty good in his garden, but we just need for for it to be morning, and I think maybe we'll just kind of see where his money is at, and then uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this part up. Oh, I forgot we took pictures, and I had him grab a couple of semi capsules. We got one buddy, and we got two buddy. Um. Maybe he's like, I'll put your picture up here with my parents. Hidden lifestyle in progress. Okay, so he has the outdoorsy lifestyle in progress. He has the techie in progress. people person and frequent traveler hmm um interesting so techie live a life immersed in technology to uh, acquire or maintain this lifestyle interact regularly with electronics and technology or join a tech related career uh, lifestyle affects various benefits when interacting with technology, prefers to use technology over non-electronic objects, increased skill gain in programming and rocket science, can apply the overclocked, overclocked, hmm, okay, upgrade to computers and then enthuse about processing power with other sims improved success when repairing and upgrading electronics, increased work performance in tech related careers, and tense when a lot, uh, or tense when on a lot without power or when going without technology for too long. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. We do have him doing programming stuff. He is a tech person as far as uh, that goes. We have him on his computer quite a bit just to, to make that extra cash right now. So I'm not, I'm not arguing with that in the least. Um, 
we do technically need to, I think, harvest those bonsais. I don't, I don't know if he can get to that. Like I said, I used no move objects. Like I made sure, oh, been there, done that from being bored of a skill. This skill has gotten a bit stale for Cohen. Something new might be uh, a bit more exciting, basically. Oh, meet him. <laughs> well, okay. I don't know how else we can make $800 by sitting down for a few hours. Um, but it seems like Cohen is uh, a bit over the programming. <laughs> Literally, he's, he's over it. Okay, I think he actually quit. Continue freelance work, yeah. He quit that um, because he had to pee so bad. Um, but I think he's, yeah, he's, okay, that was only a $336 uh, payoff. Ooh, Cohen, <laughs> come and harvest the bonsai bud. Harvest and harvest and then... <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Um, I'm going to have him take care of his garden really quick, like off camera. I don't think that that is like, we've all seen gardening and done gardening, been there, done that kind of thing. Um, and then we'll have him sell all. I am going to have him plant uh, those bonsai buds, or at least try to, hoping that it works. Is he not able to harvest the other one? weird okay I don't know what happened there okay anyways um I guess I will update you guys on the bonsai bud situation whenever we come back next time or maybe not you, you might just notice it um but either way I hope you guys are having an awesome week um finding a way to look forward to the new year I know it's been a rough year but um I don't know I hope you guys are doing good out there finding finding ways to cope and just get through things because that's all we really can do right now <laughs> Ooh, 2020. But thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.